Well, hello, TRM partners, Pastor Philip with Mom Alberta, and we're just delighted to be able to give you a weekly word. Wasn't that conference great? <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Yeah. We had a good time, of didn't course, we? Of course, yes. We heard, we heard God. I would encourage all of you that if you missed any of those services, go back on our uh, website. Uh, either, well, it would be go to the church website, faithvictorychurch.us, and uh, listen to those services that you may have missed, and then play them over and over again. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's still nothing <coughs> like being there. 2021, it's a great year. Year of judgment, good for us, severe for the wicked. Mm -hmm. But I have a weekly word for you. You know, last night when we were laying in bed and uh, praying, you said, what are you doing? I said, Lord, tell me about the weekly word. And that's the first time that's happened. You usually, the, the morning we come in here to record, you know, he, he tells me, but last night he, he uh, Spoke to my heart. But now, you never tell me anyway what yeah. it is. <laughs> I, I told you. I, did. I told time. you last night. You did. Yeah, Oops. you might have been so sleepy you didn't hear it because you asked me. But anyways, wow. Uh, we are living in some wonderful, glorious times. The move of God. We are living in some <laughs> faith times. You got it. Without you know the faith, Bible talks good. about if need be, you are in a season of heaviness. Manifold. Because your many, many, many. Because temptations. your faith is being tried, and you know, for all of us that live by faith, you know, we we've, we've learned how to live this way, and not let it steal our joy and so on and so forth. But there's a key element, and it's called endurance. Wow, that's right. Endurance. I have to take. Well, I guess. I now listen to, to this. That's I want to take you to uh, two spots. Partners, listen up. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness mm, as a, a good, good soldier, soldier of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, I brought this out. We're not on a cruise ship right now. We're on a warship. <laughs> That's right. Not yes. worship, war warship. We're, we're fighting the good fight of faith. We're standing for our... Uh, families, for our communities, for our churches, ministries, for this nation, for the world, for liberty, yes, right? Yes. But it says, Thou therefore endure hardness. Now listen to this now. To endure hardness, Alberta, you have to have something harder than the hardness. Working for you. You know, if, if you're going to break a rock, yeah. rock's hard. Can't you got to have something up. harder to break that rock, a sledgehammer, that, that steel head on the end of it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, Jesus in his word says, is not my word like a hammer that breaks in pieces the rock? Yes. So it says, thou therefore endure the state of being hard. Now, now listen, partners, I'm not prophesying hardness uh as in uh, bummed out, difficult, losing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about enduring hardness. In other words, the atmosphere is, is hard. Uh, the enemy is throwing hard uh, circumstances and lies at you and so on and so forth. You hold up the shield of faith. Now, it says, therefore, endure it. As a good soldier. That tells me a bad soldier doesn't endure. He can't, he can't make it. And I and, and the word endure, Albert, the, the first word in, in endure and end. That's right. And, and that you're gonna endure to the end. Jesus said, Those that endure to the end shall be saved, sozoed, whatever they're believing God for. Do you remember one day we were driving? And I start, I start, I, I thought I was praying in tongues, but I just started, I guess, praying in tongues. And you were driving and you said, I just got an interpretation of what you, it was, 
Those that endure to the end shall mm. be saved. Mm. Do you remember that? No. Wow. No? Where were we? As a matter of fact, we were just coming up to the light at Versailles Road coming from our home. And we just got to the light and we were just turning when you said, I just got the interpretation of what you're praying. Wow. Well. <laughs> and it was that. Those, those that endure to the end shall be saved. Well, and we're we're drawn to the, these are the, this is the end. <laughs> well, he, uh, what was? He says endure hardness. Yeah. Now again, Shh. God's not going to tell us to endure something that's beating us up. No, no. It, I have no means. How how can how can he's not talking about uh, you know we'll just roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. He ain't talking about that. We've he's talking about as a good yes. soldier. We've been in boot camp all this time. You know, in a good soldier, when, uh, who was it, General Patton, that uh, when President Eisenhower... Uh, That's good. Yeah, needed uh, uh, a, a particular place captured, yes. but it was 100 miles away. And uh, General Patton said, uh, me and my guys will take it. And Didn't they they they'd just been in a battle. They just they, and he, no he says it's a, it's a hundred miles away. It's in winter time. Below zero. They Below marched. Below zero. They marched. Hundred miles. Wasn't it like up a mountain? They had it. Yeah. Climb. They marched. They marched. They in marched the that snow. In forty eight hours. In the snow. Yeah. And and, and uh, they did it. And they took it. Why? Because they all had this. Uh, endure hardness. Was it mindset. Eisenhower that thought it wasn't possible? Yeah, the and president yeah. said, absolutely. I'm pretty sure that's how the story went. But, anyways, Hebrews 10, it says in verse 32, partners, listen up. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were illuminated, you mm -hmm. endured a great fight yes. of affliction or pressure. Shh. Remember when you first got born again? Oh, boy. Perhaps you're listening and, and, and you recently gave your life to the Lord. There, There's there's a fight you're going to, yeah. that you must endure when friends won't, don't want to hang with you no more. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a family member. Could even be a spouse. They don't like oh, the that Jesus faith. in you or you're whatever. You're in that faith. Right? Church. Partly while you I mean, were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while you became companions mm. of them that were so used. In other words, you started hanging out with other people that faith people. were uh, rejoicing in the mm -hmm. things of God. But now it says in verse 34, For you had compassion of me in my bonds and took joyfully Mm -hmm. The spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that yeah. you have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Now, when it's talking about spoiling the goods, it's talking about you let go of things. Mm -hmm. For instance, you might have had some hobby that was crowding out now your church time, and you you let it go. And it might you might have had a couple of buddies that uh, you met every week. To share in that uh, throwing darts or something, whatever it was, bowling, bowling, and all of a sudden it is taking up too much of your time, and, and you let it go. And they don't understand that, but you took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. Everything that you thought was good, you you started replacing with that which was good. All of a sudden, you just it just seems so senseless. Yeah, you know, it's just like. But now watch this. this. Is, you have no fellowship. You have a relationship with your friends, but no Knowing fellowship. in yourselves that you have in yeah. heaven a better and enduring substance. substance. Not talking about when we all get to heaven. No. I have a substance up there that it'll do, endure for, that's everlasting. He's talking about that even mm -hmm. though the substance that is being talked about is everlasting. That enduring substance is explained in chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is yes, the substance faith. of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is now, the I took the long substance. way around, partners, to get there. To say, endure hardness as a good soldier. What is harder than the hard hardness that the devil tries to bring against you is faith. 
This is a victory that overcomes go. the world. There you go. Even our faith. It is an enduring substance. It cannot be shattered. It cannot be. Why would God give us a shield that could be penetrated? Come on, He wouldn't. Why would He give? Why would He give us that? No. I mean, if that shield uh, is only good for you know, it can only <laughs> reflect a twenty-two caliber, and, it, and it, but if it's a forty-five, forget it. No, it can handle a cannon. It can act, <clears throat> handle a nuclear warhead, if you, you understand what I'm saying. So when he says endure hardness, wow, how we good. endure yeah. is with our faith. faith. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> well, that's why you see people yes. uh, freaking out. Oh, they're because jumping they, ship like they, crazy. They, they, they've not been trained in faith. But you partners, keep faith pumping. Well, Keep not, a steady diet of faith teaching. Ever so often, put a put a faith message in there. Even though you're in, in this prophetic flow in the 1st of January and so on, but throw a faith message in there. Throw a faith message in there. Well, it takes faith to, to, to uh, you know, carry out. You were saying, you know, keep pumping faith. But the secret to the whole thing is to put action to what you believe. You know, get back in church. Stop being fearful. I mean, that's what's going on. I mean, do, do all these things. Like, I, I don't want to say it. <laughs> Faith is, is the hard, it's, it, it's that spiritual hardness. It is. That the uh, devil has no access mm -hmm. to. Because it's built, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So to endure, and, and you know, we look, we've had to endure some things here in 2020, but at the same time, the kingdom kept on advancing. That's right. We just had that testimony service and all those testimonies, right? Powerful. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, the reason we have those testimonies, the reason we keep advancing is because we're enduring hardness as good soldiers. We keep marching forward. Well, it, okay, let's look at the natural soldier that goes through boot camp, right? That's yeah. where they go through all the training, and it's hard. It's a real hard. Well, it's not all the training, but it's the... Uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah. that, that gets you started, mm -hmm. and, and some don't make it through that. That's right. A lot, of, a lot of these guys and women don't make it through that because... They just don't have the... Yeah, we lost about 15 in six weeks out of 50. Ended up with about 35. Look at that. So. And then we're talking Air Force. We're talking six weeks is easy. <laughs> it's easy. Well, the same thing here. We, you know, all your life, you're learning, you're in boot camp for such a time as this. Now, I mean, if, if you keep using it, we, we constantly are working our faith and putting action to our faith constantly in our life. That's what Pastor Philip and I are all about, no matter what anybody says. Well, the action, the action uh, keeps the hardness of the situation yeah. from uh, Taking overcoming. Out. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so that's why right. now, right now, I mean, 2020... I mean, there is no way we would be sitting here if if we hadn't no, we endure. Could, it, it, but see, the thing is, use our faith. It, the thing is, hardness doesn't mean uh, you having a miserable life. No, it, 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 you both you take faith, you take faith, and you blast that hardness as a good soldier would. He sees the enemy. Yeah. Oh, there's hardness. Right. There's he's hardness. Not, he's not sitting in that. What do you you call don't that sit hole? there and let it come to you. Right. And you got you got a weapon in your hand. and You don't use it. Mainly, go after the. You go after the enemy. Yeah, advance. Yes, you advance. When when we went through that time of last year of uh, those couple of weeks that we shut down <laughs> until I got my bearings and found out I was legally right. Uh, we came in here and we launched Operation Faith. And our people on the other end of that camera and our partners jumped in and we took up, we needed, at that, at that time, the next move in, in uh, building phase two was to move the 
uh, air conditioners. And as long as we're moving the old ones, we might as well put new ones in. And come to find out, that was ten thousand dollars. And boom, boom, it was done. We refuse. Didn't the, we get more than ten? I, I don't remember. We refused to stop marching. That was a hardness. We endured it. That's it. We we came in here. We're going and and God has spoken to me. Operation Faith. You know, out of Colossians chapter two, what verse twelve or something. And the the our people on the other end of that camera got into faith or, or used their faith at the same time. We never stopped. Mm -hmm. In other words, never if we had, had service in here. And I had to come in here and say, look, we got to move air conditioners over here, and this is where we're at. And people would have responded, yeah, yeah. If we never lost a beat in what was like, well, what are we going to do now? I mean, we, the congregation's not here, and we're right in the middle of a building project, and, you know, we're, uh, the stairwell is being uh, uh, completed, and, and we keep moving. They're closing up the back end as we speak, you know, and everything— you endure, that's just talking about the building project. Anything in a believer's life, exactly. you endure exactly. hardness by something that is, is an enduring substance, which is faith. Well, when you're, when you're strong in your faith, you're seeing what God is doing because you, you're constantly... No. No. No, watch this. I, I want to I throw this in, and then we're going to pray. If you go through the Word, you see it over and over and over again. God's mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. So not only do we have faith that's an enduring substance, we have the mercy, mercy of God. God. Hallelujah. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. His mercies are new every morning. You do something. You every know, morning. You let, you let hardness slap you down. Well, you go in front of God and say, God, I repent of that, and I receive your mercy. You, you come boldly into the throne of grace to obtain that mercy, mm. right? Because his mercy endures Dears. forever. We want to pray for you, partners. Amen. You have what it takes. To endure is called faith and the mercy of God. Father, we pray for all of our TRM yes. partners. We're so grateful for their commitment and loyalty to this ministry. And Lord, they're partakers of our grace. What you placed on Mama Alberta and myself in these 30 plus years of serving you, debt-free living, walking in physical health, mm -hmm. a marriage that's compatible, a ministry that's continually expanding. And Lord, we just bless our partners. Yes, We speak over their lives and that one that just felt overwhelmed that they're strengthened right now. Yes. They rise up. They're yes. good soldiers in yes. faith. They understand they're on a warship, mm -hmm. not a cruise ship at this moment. Mm -hmm. And we thank you. You can make a cruise ship out of a warship you sure can. if you do it right. But in Celebrate. Jesus, yeah. But in Jesus' name, we yes. bless them. Yes. And we just speak wholeness to them in their bodies and every in every aspect of their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. So be it. Amen. Amen. Me and Mama Alberta, we love you. Ecclesiastes chapter eight, <laughs> verse four says, "Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing."